Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who's her life in line of duty in 2021. And sadly, tonight I'm running for another fallen deputy who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight I'm running for fallen deputy Dale L. Wyman. He works at the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee and is under watch on October 6, 2021 and lost his life after he succumbed to injuries that he received all the way back on August 10th of 2012 after he was a part of an automobile crash. He was 56 years old at the time of his passing and at the time of the incident served just three years with the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office. He also was a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind a wife, two sons, a daughter, and grandchildren. Tonight I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around a track in my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection running with us, as well as a part of family of the first mile, my sister, and another supporter running with us. We're also joined by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, joining us in the patrol, as well as uh, more family from the first one supporting us and our whole family. Even though it seems like that there's me and four others running at the same time, there's even more running, and it's all the fall night I've ran for. I know they're all running in spirits tonight, including fallen deputy Dale L. Wyman. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in our whole family and apartment that our husband are going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah running his third and final mile of the evening, this mile in honor of another fallen hero of the state of Tennessee, fallen deputy Dale L. Wyman. He served with the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office, tragically losing his life on October the 6th, 2021, after succumbing to injuries that he sustained all the way back on August the 10th, 2012, while he was responding to a vehicle crash. He was 56 years old at the time of his passing, having served a total of three years as a member of the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office at the time of the incident. Along with serving his community, he served his country as a U.S. Army veteran and he leaves behind a wife, two sons, a daughter, as well as a grandchildren. Zachariah now completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor fallen Deputy Wyman. We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah and tonight, paying tribute to fallen Deputy Wyman. We have members of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation patrolling behind Zachariah, running with Zachariah. We have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based on the Orlando International Airport. Also running with Zachariah, we have a sister as well as a family member, as Zachariah said, from the very first run he did for Officer Harrison. Once again, Zechariah running this mile tonight in honor of fallen Deputy Dale L. Wyman, who tragically on October the 6th succumbed to injuries that he received back on August the 10th, 2012, while he was responding to a vehicle crash. He was 56 years old, served three years with the agency, but also served his country as a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind multiple family members. Zechariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. Every mile as Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag, the blue line flag, will get sent along with a handwritten note to the family of Deputy Wyman shortly after this run concludes. If you'd like information 
on how you can also be part of this mission. Visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm gonna go silent starting on this next lap and remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero, fallen deputy, Dale Wyman of the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office. We extend our prayers to everybody with the Hardeman County Sheriff's Office mourning the loss of this hero. We also extend our prayers to his family, his wife, his two sons, his daughter, his grandchildren. And not only do we thank him for his service to his community, but his service to his country. May God bless his family and may we never forget fallen deputy, Dale L. Wyman.
Zachary, any final words for the family of Fallen Hardman, County Sheriff's Office Deputy Dale L. Wyman? So the whole family of Fallen Deputy Dale L. Wyman, everybody at the Hardman County Sheriff's Office and his whole entire family, his wife, two sons, daughter, and grandchildren, we hope you all heal everybody soon through the passing of your loved one. Um, um, this this loss was uh, definitely a hard one because not because it it was recently done. Um, he succumbed to injuries he sustained in an automobile crash back in 2012, um, and spent nine years fighting through his injuries. And I gotta say, he definitely did live his life out. Uh, I bet during that nine years of service during his fighting. He was able to spend lots more time with his family, enjoy lots of great moments with his family. And um, even though he lost his life, I know he was a true hero and was a strong, dedicated man while serving and was also very strong during his injury process. Even though he did lose, lose his life a lot later than he, when the automobile crash happened, we continue to watch over the family and department because it still is an unexpected loss for them. If you're part of Deputy Wyman's family, we'll be sending you this blue line flag that we very much sign in your hero's honor as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the notes, but whatever you do with it, we hope you find, we find comfort every single time you look at it on your fallen hero, Deputy Dale Wyman. We'll let be forgotten down here in Florida and for the whole entire nation with the help of our new heroes. If all of you tonight would like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, also sorry, he also was a U.S. Army veteran, so we want to thank him for his service up in heaven for all the incredible work he put toward his community as well, uh, serving his country. Um, now, if all of you tonight would like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, each second day, just like, a twin, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day, kidding, one amazing thing Deputy Wyman did during his life, including maybe a life he saved while in the army or as a deputy, maybe at the same time, an accomplishment he made during his life or a memory that he had cherished, especially through his nine years of service, sorry, nine years of recovery. So, if all of you bow our heads, this 21 second moment of silence, please do right now. We appreciate if you join us in that 21 seconds. Like we said, it does mean so much to the whole family if you did bare heads in that 21 second moment of silence. Thank you all for watching this run. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, now, if all of you tonight will join me in a prayer for all three law enforcement uh, officers that we unfortunately had to run for on this Monday evening. So, if all of you please bow our heads in this prayer, please do right now. Dear God, tonight we've, we had come out here to run for three fallen first responders, all in law enforcement, and lost our life. Uh, doing what they love doing, serving their community. God, watch over these three families. I know that there's a lot of heartache through all these families' losses because they were all unexpected losses. God, watch over the family and department through the hard time they are all going through. Uh, watch over each state that we had to run for. Let's hope that we don't lose any more first responders in as long as possible in those three states. And God, first and foremost, guide these families and departments to this run. And use run as a tool to help anybody heal and let them know that there's people supporting them through this hard time. God, continue to watch over the family department and let them know that their hero will still be alive in memory forever. Thank you, and God, for keeping us safe and healthy. And even though that we're not going to be running for the next week, bless over our first responders so when we come back next week, we won't have a lot to run for. Thank you again, God. Just hear me pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in these three runs tonight. Like I just said during the prayer, we're not going to be running, from what I know, from Tuesday until Monday. Um, that's because we're going to be in Washington, D.C. for Police Week. So please stay updated in anything we post. But uh, first and foremost, please say a prayer for our first part of tonight, knowing that I'm not going to be running for a week. Let's hope that when we come back on Monday, we don't have a lot to run for, maybe even none, in the line of duty. Hope you have a great and safe night, especially if you're first part working on the streets tonight. Thank you all again for watching these runs, and we pray God blesses you all.